Good morning. We are here for Monday's Maths now. So let's have a little look at what we're doing today. So on our AFL today, I would like you to look at this number line here and I would like you to show me where 19, 29 and 59 go, please. So if you pause the video here, do that for me and then we will carry on with the lesson when you're ready. OK, so the first thing to think about when we're looking at a number line where there are some um, numbers missing is to look at what we're going up in. So here I can see we've got zero. The other end, we've got 100. So we're looking at the numbers between zero and 100. And then the numbers I've got are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So we can see, hopefully you've spotted, that those are multiples of 10. So we're going up in jumps of 10. And I can see there's some dark lines here. Look where the 10s are. But then as well, there's some more dark lines. Here there's a dark line between the 0 and the 10 that hasn't got a number on it. Here is a dark line between the 10 and the 20 that doesn't have a line. And look, in between each of the multiples of 10, there's a bold line as well, a darker line. So what do you think that might show? Well, we know that it it's halfway between 10 and 20 and it's halfway between 0 and 10. So it actually is showing 5 here because it's halfway. So if we were to put numbers on all of those bold ones, um, tell me what I'd be counting in. So I'm going to do that for you now. That's 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. What am I counting in? Hopefully you've spotted that I'm counting in multiples of five, which we know end in a zero or a five. So those are the dark lines figured out, but now it's important to have a look at the other lines. So here we can see we've got four lines before the dark line and four lines afterwards. So Let's have a go at starting at zero and counting. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, OK. So each of those little lines is showing one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant. So if we're really careful, that's how we can look where things go. So thinking back to the AFL now, let's have a look just between zero and ten. And where would nine be? Well, to know where nine is, we have to think about what that actually means. So it means that we're nearly at 10. So here's a 10 frame with nine on it. And we know that we've got five on the top, four on the bottom. We've got one missing. It just needs one more circle to make 10. If we think about it in terms of our chocolate bars and our little pieces of chocolate, our tens and our ones, we've got nine pieces of chocolate. So we're almost at a bar of chocolate. We just need one more piece to be a bar of chocolate. So if I know that nine is one less than 10, I know that I need to go to the 10 and I need to go back one to that line there. And that will be where nine is. It's one less than 10. I could do it in a slower way, look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But I'm using my known facts to make me more efficient at this. I know that nine is one less than 10. And that pattern continues throughout all of the numbers. So let's have a look now at where those nines should have been. There we go. So look, one less. One less than 20 is 19. One less than 30 is 29. One less than 40 is 39. So can you see it's just before the multiple of 10. It's not before the multiple of 5. It's before the multiple of 10. So let's have a think about the number 49. 
So 49, let's think about what that would look like as a picture. I would have my four tens, here are my four chocolate bars, and I would have nine little pieces of chocolate. Now I know because I remembered this, that nine is nearly full and I've nearly, nearly, nearly made another chocolate bar. So if I just add one more to this chocolate bar, I oh, sorry, this is 50, 59. wonder how many of you spotted that. So if I had one more chocolate bar, I would not have five tens anymore. I would have six tens. So all I would need to do is add another one to this, put a packet on it, and I've got another bar of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So actually, if I've got 59, I've got five chocolate bars, five tens, and I've nearly, nearly, nearly got six tens because I just need one more. Just got that one space before I get to six tens. So I know that the next multiple of 10 is going to be 60 because I'm nearly at 60. So if it's 59, I've got five. I know six chocolate bars or six tens is going to be my next one. So I can go straight to 60 and I can just jump back one. And that is where 59 is. Because it's just one back from 60. I'm nearly, look, five chocolate bars, nine little pieces of chocolate. I'm nearly at six chocolate bars, six tens. So here we go. I've got the number 39. How do we know? Well, I've got 10, 20, 30, and then I've got nine more. And I'm nearly, nearly, nearly full. I've just got that one more there. So thinking about 39, I've got three tens and nine little pieces of chocolate. If I add one little piece of chocolate to this, I've then got four chocolate bars, four tens, and no little pieces of chocolate. So the number that comes after 39, because I can't say 30, 10, is 40. So my ones have gone to zero, but I've got an extra 10. So which number comes after 69? Well, I've got 69 here. I add one more and I know that this nine here is going to be made into another 10. So instead of 69, that will jump to make this larger. So instead of six, it's going to be a seven. So instead of 60, it's going to be 70. And I don't have any pieces of chocolate now because all the pieces of chocolate that I had, I've wrapped up in a wrapper to make another bar of chocolate, to make another 10. So now it's 70. Now it says, which com number comes before 69? 69. So here's 69, I know that's 69 because it's got one space to be making it up to 70. So what is this number here? Well, we know that this is not going to change because these are all our 60 numbers, 61, 62, 63, 64. And we know that it's going to be one less than nine because we're moving back one space. So instead of 69, it's going to be 68. So then it goes 68, 69, 70. So today, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be understanding that numbers have an order. You're going to know that the ones are filling up to make a 10. So when we've got 10, we're going to make a chocolate bar. And we're going to be thinking about what comes before and after a multiple of 10. So what you need to do today is you've got some numbers here and you've got to think about which number comes after it and which number comes before it. 
Now there is a hundred square on the slate if you are really, really, really stuck, but I would like to try and think about it because you can use a number line to help you. So 29, well, let's think about what this means. It means I've got two tens and I've almost got three tens. So I'm going to go to three tens, 30 and back one. So that's going to be where my 29 is. And then I'm going to think about, right, so the next one is going to be 30. And the one that comes before that, well, this is going to go down one. It's still going to be a 20, but it's going to be 28. And then to check it, I can just count in ones along. 28, 29, 30. I'm happy with that. That sounds right. Let's have a look at this one, 59. So let's think about what this means. It means I've got five tens and I've almost got six tens, but not quite. So I'm going to go to the six tens and I'm going to jump back one. And I know that that is going to be my 59. And I know that if I jump on, I'm going to almost, I'm going to get up to six tens, which is 60. If I go back again, I'm not getting rid of any tens because look, I'm still in the 50 numbers. Still in the 50, 50, 50, 50. So 59, it's this one. I've just eaten a piece of chocolate. And now I have five chocolate bars and eight little bits of chocolate left five tens and eight ones. So that's what you're going to be doing today. So the majority of people today will be showing me where um, a two digit number is, which ends with a nine. So it could be 49, 59, 89. You're going to show me those on a number line. And also you're going to show me with these little boxes, which number comes after it and which number comes before it. And this is really going to help break down our maths this week so that we become really, really confident with um, our number lines. If you're in Kiwis, I've given you some of these to do as well. So what you've got to do is imagine that this is 100 square. So we've got 79 here. So if I go back one, I know that I'm still going to be in the 70s number. So that must be 78. Then I've got this one up here. So let's have a think about what would be here, because that might help. 78, 79, 80. Oh, so this is my multiples of 10 on the 100 square. So if that's 80, this must be 70. Okie dokie. So if this is 78 here, we know that as we go down the 100 square, the ones stay the same and the tens go up. So if the ones stay the same, this is in the eight row. And this is not going to be a seven because we're going down the 100 square. So it's going to be an eight. OK, so I'm happy that's 88. So then we can go back one and we can figure out that that must be 87. So you've got lots of gaps to work out. Again, there is 100 square, but that's copying. So. If you're desperate, you can check them afterwards. But what I'd rather you do is have a little think and try and fill in what you know to help you with those blank areas. OK. There is also a challenge like that for everybody if you finish this really quickly and you would like a challenge. So everybody can have a go at this one if they would like to. And that is your maths for today. Well done. The answers are um, on the sway, so you'll be able to see those and the 100 square is there for support as well if you need it. Have a good maths lesson.